we were headed back to the car and I saw this pile of, some people might think it's rubble, but no, it is millstones that they use to grind the corn and the grain. If you've ever been to Cade's Cove and you've seen the mill they have out there grinding corn, these are the millstones that they use. That one, of course, is broken, but still a great part of history. And here on the side of this cabin, we see a map of the Heritage Center. Let's go on up to the museum and see what's inside. Hey friends, today Miss Leela and I are back at the Heritage Center in Townsend. We was over here the other day and had some good time filming all the cabins and things that was outside. Well, today we're going to go in the museum and see all the exhibits they have of a lot of the Appalachian stuff and the things that they used back in the day inside those cabins. A lot more in here than there was out there. They have some good history on the Cherokee Indians and all the tribes. We're hoping you'll enjoy this, so let's go on in and see what they've got. <music> As you enter the exhibit building, you'll see this great bear specimen they have on display right off. And then as we go on through, you'll see a lot of interesting things. Some of the clothing and hat wear that they have on this display that the ladies of uh, that time period wore. Miss Leela found that very interesting. As we go on back through here, you'll notice that uh, we have a uh, display of a school room and the old pot-bellied stove and the chalkboard they call it the blackboard I think back then and uh, just uh, very primitive but that's exactly what a school room would have looked like back in the day they didn't have a lot of uh, students like they did like they do now but uh, what they did they were intent on learning tricycle they put in there. If you'll notice this desk, the seat where you sit and the back of it actually has a uh, the top of the next seat back, which I thought was pretty interesting. Next thing we see here is an exhibit about mountain music. You see a dulcimer, old banjo, fiddle, a lot of things that they would use back then to just make the mountain music. Today we might call it bluegrass, Appalachian music, but uh, 
I use that a lot, even in the churches, especially in the churches, as well as uh, social gatherings, and even around the house. You notice that they they use those to for a little family entertainment. Here we have some working tools for the homestead. You see a plaque about the cantilever barns, like they've got at Cades Cove. A little bit of information about the daily chores and the things that they've done. A little layoff plow things, all handmade. No tractors, no big implements or equipment. See a little kettle there where they used it when it killed hogs to render the lard. Just regular things that they used every day, but uh, things you just don't see anymore. See this big bear trap here uh, where they get their meat and what they didn't raise they would get from the wild. This exhibit here is a replica of the inside of a cabin, a lot like what we saw outside at the center. It's got some things that uh, would use in the kitchen, just regular eating utensils. Now that gourd is interesting because that's what they would use to get the water out of the springs or wells. And uh, the little baby cradle, it just makes you wonder how many babies have uh, went to sleep in that cradle while my mama and grandma was rocking in that chair. Brooms, rub boards to clean the clothes down at the creek. Now this piece here I thought was interesting. Those are peppers. They would string those up with a needle and string, and that's how they would dry them. They would hang them in a column like that, beans, uh, peppers, whatever they had like that, and they would dry them out before they shelled them. I thought that was interesting that they would uh, include that in this exhibit, because I've seen that in real life with some of my relatives that really hit home beautiful exhibit of a fireplace, stacked stone, cooking instruments in the front of it, another pot-bellied stove. This is a cook stove, four eyes on it. That's how they would cook the meals. No microwaves, nothing like that. Just a good old wood-fired here we have a bedroom layout. A lot of times in those one-room cabins, this would just be in one corner of that room. That's all you'd have for a bedroom. Pretty interesting. We see here a lot of woodworking tools that they used, to, used on the logs have them where they squared them off and uh, hewed them out. This piece here would actually hew out the bark, debark that thing where it would be more square. And then you have an auger to make the holes for the pegs. And just a few hand tools and they built some of the most beautiful cabins that I've ever seen. Horseshoes. wooden plane, everything handmade. Here's some of the pottery that they actually had back in the day that they would trade around with other travelers to, to have some things to eat on. They did have china back then. They'd trade with furs and just whatever they could find to to trade back and forth. The barter system really went a long way. We see a lot of herbs that grew wild and still does in the mountains today to use to cook with and 
medical remedies. Now we're getting into some of the uh, Indian relics that we have here for, for music and uh, things like that. Now I thought this was interesting. This is the seven tribes of the Cherokee Indians. And uh, they all had their own headgear. And uh, for them to put this in here, I thought was a, a big plus. Some of the other relics that the Indians used, pottery, basketry. These are the things that they would trade back and forth with the early pioneers and uh, they would get what they needed and uh, the pioneers would get some of the things that they needed too. You got more pottery, different clans would make different things. And they would just kind of spread it out among everyone that lived in the mountains back then, trading back and forth. This exhibit here shows some uh, things that archaeologists have found and even found enough to put them back together where you can see them in their original state that was handmade meticulously back then. No spinning wheels, nothing like that. They were all made by hand. Arrowheads, spearheads. Now here we have some different living quarters. The Cherokee house. More housing from the period different periods, it seems like they evolved on the housing, what they had, a little cutaway to kind of show you what it was like inside. The woodland period. Very interesting indeed. Guys, that's gonna do it today from the Heritage Museum in Townsend. Hope you've enjoyed the little tour we had to give you. And uh, like and subscribe below. And we'll hope to see you in the next one or somewhere in the mountains. So, see you later.